Hello writers, this is Mr. Toralba, and in this video I'm going to show you how to start a new document using Word in your Office 365. One of the things that I want to encourage you all is to not use the um, Microsoft Office programs in your desktop. Instead, use your Office 365 account. If you're using one of these programs on your desktop, you'll have to save the document and then go to your Dojo portfolio, attach it as a, a piece of work, or either have your parents email the document to your teacher by attaching it to an email. That's a lot of work. So what I would like for you to do is use your Office 365. Now, many of you have downloaded the app on your desktop, laptop, or iPad. Um, so you are very familiar with the app. If you don't know how to get to it uh, from using an app, you can always go to our Cobb County's uh, website, click on Parents, and then Office 365 Sign In. Okay, that will automatically direct you to a page where you can go ahead and sign in using your credentials. So to sign in, you'll need um, to type in your first name dot last name at students dot cobk12 dot org, and then use your password that you always use at school. Okay, so that will be the way for you to log in. Now, if you already have the app, then all you need to do is open up your Office 365 account, and then all of these programs are available. Today, I'm going to show you how to open up a new Word document. So you click on the Word icon, okay? Start a new document. This is only if you're starting a document for the very first time, okay? If you're starting a Word document for the very first time. You always want to label your document by the title of whatever you're working on. So if it's a comparison on because of Winn-Dixie, or if it's a small moment about uh, what you did the very first time, um, the very first week of digital learning. Uh, perhaps you're writing about your weekend. Whatever you're writing about, make sure that you name your document with a title that you can reference back to later um, if you need to continue working on. So here, let's say that I am working on my small moment. Okay, at the beach. Okay, so there I will go ahead and change the title instead of saying document five. Now it has a title. That way, if I need to go back and finish working on it, I'll know what to look for. Always, even though the Office 365 is automatically linked with your name, always type in the title. So Here's my title, and then who is writing this? You're always the author, so make sure you go ahead and include that. Center that, enter twice, and then go back to your left margin, okay? You are going to go ahead and just continue working on your writing. So to indent, make sure you use the tab key. It has two arrows, one point backwards, one point forwards and you are going to use that once. So last week was uh, was completely different than any other school week. So let's say that you're writing your small moment, okay? But then right in the middle of it, your mom tells you that you have to go and visit your grandma. You don't need to do anything. The document automatically saves, as you can see here. And that's the difference. If you're using uh, Word from your desktop, you'll have to save your document every so often so you don't lose your work. Um, and then you will have to do that before you leave. With Office 365, you don't have to do any saving. The program automatically saves your work. All you have to do is exit, close your computer, um, restart it, shut it down, whatever you need to do, and then that's it. 
Now, let's say that you're back and you need to continue working on your entry piece. So what you'll need to do is, again, if you don't have the icon, you will need to go to the Cobb County's website, click on Parents, and then sign in using your Office 365. If you do have the icon, then all you have to do is click on it. Now, because this is something that you already started, do not click on Word, okay? You only need to click on Word if you're starting a brand new document. If it's something that you started before but you did not finish, you will go down to Recent, scroll down to Recent, and click on the document that you need to continue working on it. See, that's why it's very important for you to title your document because if you need to continue working on it, you'll know what to click on. This presentation here does not have a title, so therefore I'm not sure what this presentation is about, okay? But here is the small moment that I was working on. So I click on it and everything that I worked on earlier will automatically come up, okay? I'll go ahead and finish working on my writing. Um, you're probably asking why or what was so different, All right? Okay, let's say that you're finished with your writing piece. Something that I suggest my students to do is to go ahead and make sure that um, that they insert at least one or two photographs. So to do that, you'll go to Insert, Picture, Bing, and then since I am writing about a day at the beach, I will go ahead and just work on choosing one of these uh, photographs. Let's say that I really like this photograph. I click insert. The photograph might be too big, so I can go ahead and just resize it. I can go ahead and uh, click on the photograph and I want it on the right hand side, or maybe you might want it on in the middle. So you can go ahead and choose where you want your photograph to be displayed. Okay. Let's say that you already finish typing your writing, you inserted your photograph. Something that you need to do before you share your work with your teacher is to reread your writing at least two times to make sure that your writing makes sense, that your paragraphs are actually making sense and they're flowing um, from one paragraph to the next or from one idea to the next. Make sure that they're transitioning well. Make sure you use transitional words. Make sure you use adjectives describing those emotions. Um, maybe the things that you were seeing, hearing, feeling, tasting, touching. Make sure you describe all of those. Um, make sure that you show your reader and not just tell your reader. Once you edit your writing and once you make sure that your place and everything is the way you want it to be, um, you go to share. And then you just type in your teacher's name. Now, if there are multiple people with the same name, make sure that you go ahead and choose the one that says teacher. And then you just click send. That's all you have to do. That's the difference between working on Office 365 and working on the regular document on your desktop. On your desktop, you will have to save it again, go to your email, attach it as a um, as an attachment, send it to your teacher or go to your class dojo portfolio and attach it there. With Office 365, all of that is unnecessary. You can go ahead and just share and send it to your teacher. Now, let's say that your teacher gives you some feedback, okay? Your teacher sends you uh, a Word document back, your Word document back and um, he or she gives you some grows and glows. You are going to see this speech bubbles, okay? This is a document that my student, Angelina, submitted. I left some commentary for her to read over. Some of them are grows, some of them are um, glows. So she will click on it and she will see my comment. If you need to edit or fix something, that the teacher is suggesting uh, for you to work on, 
then you will go ahead and make those changes. This time, you do not need to share again. Once you share your document, you do not need to share again. Those changes that you're making will automatically appear on the document that your teacher has, okay? So you do not need to share again. So briefly, again, if you are starting a new document, go to your Office 365, click on Word. If you are starting a brand new document, blank new document, make sure that you name your document here at the top. Do not leave this blank. Make sure you call it something. Okay. Always come up with a title, your name under it, even though your document is automatically attached to your name because you sign in with your Office 365, it's a good idea for you to go ahead and write your name. Just get into the habit. Go back to your left margin, type in your narrative, okay? If you need to go somewhere or if you're not finished with it or maybe you got, you got tired and you need a break, you close your document, okay? Whenever you get back to it, open your Office 365. Don't start a new document. Go to the recent documents that you were working on. Click on the one that you need to finish. Continue working on it, okay? After you finish writing your narrative or your informational piece, make sure you edit it. Make sure you revise it. Check for punctuation, transitional words, making sure that Ideas are flowing and trans transitioning well. Um, insert some photographs by going to insert, feature, Bing. Once you're completely finished and you know that you, um, if you are pleased with your work, then go ahead and share with your teacher by typing their first and last name. Make sure that it has teacher under, choose it. Click send and you're finished. If your teacher is sending you some feedback, make sure you go ahead and click on the document that you recently submitted. Look on the right hand side and you should see the commentary left for you to read over it. If you do not have the app for 365, go to the Cobb County's website, click on parents, sign in using your Office 365, and then you should be able to sign in using your credentials, okay? Again, that's how you start, that's how you share, and that's how you go back and read your commentary from your teacher using Office 365 Word documents. I hope that was helpful. Let us know if you have any questions.